one conversation, stop it. Seven continents, name them. No, no, don't look at the ceiling. China. Seven <laughs> continents. No. China is a nation. No, 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 stop. Let them, let them name them. This has nothing to do with business, it has to do with my status, which means it's not tax exempt even though they're saying tax exempt, it's that it doesn't apply to me. It's only tax exempt for their paperwork because a lot of their clerks look like you and me and don't know that this right belongs to them and they don't want them to learn this. Knowing that if I talk to them, most of them wouldn't understand it anyway, go with it, well, what religion you in? It ain't got a daggone thing to do with religion. Well, what? What is it for taxes? And the IRS, you're not, I, you're numbered it? it no. 
when do you feel it? It's no, I don't deal with the IRS. It's not relevant. It's not, I'm not disrespecting them. We're two different jurisdictions. You understand? Their job is to take care of Rome's property. You understand? And, and Negroes, blacks, and colors are Rome's property. But this right actually belongs to these same people. But since they want to serve Rome, they pay Rome. Since they want to use Roman names, well, they got paid tax for that. Since they want to vote with Romans' names every 20 years, the CEO of this corporation has to sign bills for them to vote. Because since they're using Romans' names, they're taxable. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? That's why they can only vote under the 14th Amendment, which is a corporate entity, as Negroes, which is corporation property. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, they don't know it's law, but it applies to them. Now, I want you to, as a matter of fact, come over here, because since you asked the question, put that desk, desk down for a minute, and I want you to read this. I want you to read this. I'm going to say something real quick. Yes. I'm married to Bolivar. There's a church called St. Benedict the Moor. Yeah. And I punched it in. He said, uh, <clears throat> he was, whatever he was, this great man, but had no connection to the illustrious past of the Moors. Yes. That's what I said. Read this. <laughs> read this. Some read this. Me. Excuse me. Read that to the camera. Consolidated co uh, codified set forth and published in 1935 in the 159th year of the Republic with ancillaries and index. Note Treaties and commentary, Brother Tashtari Bay, Moore's Order for the Round Table, for instructional purposes only. Charles Mosley Bay, PhD, LLD, a third and 33rd and 360 degree Mason, free Moorish master, astrologer, and Moorish constitution lawgiver, insomni has copyright certified registered in the United States Department of Justice on the truth of Liberty of Justice Copyright Office with reveal at law the conditions of intercourse between the indigenous Moors and the occupational European nations with whom the Moors have treated. This affirms the pre-existent status of the Moors in all matters interchange commerce and law in the European side of the nation. The specific copyright certificate, certificate of note clock of destiny Moorish American National Card of identification and Zoli Constitution has registered number A A twenty two two one forty one class A. This number is referred to the code of the laws of the United States of America of a general and permanent character in force January third, nineteen thirty five, nineteen thirty fourth edition, Title twenty two, chapter two, section one forty one, Title twenty two, foreign relations and intercourse page nine fifty four, chapter two. Consular Courts, Section 141, Judicial Authority Generally to Carry in to Fully Effect the Provision of the Treaties of the United States. Now you see the treaty, foreign. password treaty. Now, I want you to look at this, read you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be ready right after this. Read this. CMA's Copyright Certificate, AA 22141, refers to Title 22, Foreign Relations and Intercourse, page 954, Chapter 2, Council of Courts, Section 141, Judicial Authority Generally, to carry into full effect the provision of treaties of the United States with certain foreign countries, the ministers and consuls of the United States in China, Simeon, Turkey, Morocco, Muscat, Abyssinia, Persia, and the territory is formerly a part of the former. Ottoman Empire, including that's your empire. Egypt. In, in, exactly, that's the capital of the empire. Mm -hmm. And Morocco, you see, it's, it's emphasized there? Yes. All right. Duly appointed to reside therein, shall, in addition to other powers and duties imposed upon them respectfully, by the provision of such treaties respectfully, be invested with judicial authority described in this chapter, which shall appertain the office of ministers and councils and be a part of the duties belonging thereto, wherein so and so far as the same is allowed by treaty and in accordance with the usage of the countries of their intercourse with the Franks of all the foreign Christian nations. Alright, the foreign Christian nations includes all the European nations where you think that you're standing. On the Moroccan Empire and their foreign Christians and this is how you're supposed to be dealing with them. Do you understand? And this is what we're trying to tell people. And this is another thing, brother. What's the name of that Bill? Book? This is another thing that you see some people don't, talking about CM Bay, Clocks of Destiny, ain't telling people that part. Mm -hmm. Because the power already belongs to you, it can't be sold to you. Mm -hmm. What's the name of that book, brother? This is. Huh? That's the enforcement, that's the United States Code of Law of a permanent 
general and permanent character, i.e., that's enforcing birthright. And this is what I was talking about, Red Pill, when I was saying, you know, rather than be debating with the brothers, mm -hmm. I want the brothers from the Panthers to know this because the brothers from the Panthers are really down. Mm -hmm. See, because they got the strength, they got the power, they got the determination. But they need some more of the law. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why the brothers was enforcing their right to bear arms. But they can't as black, they can as Moors. No yeah. doubt. And we're going to yeah. give them the other side of the law. Because right. they want to carry it out, because they've been dealing anyhow. Yeah. We want power. All right. All right, family, red pill. Give me that red pill, brother. Because we're going down the elevator. Thank you for the red pill, because I'm right. taking that red pill. Close these doors, because we're going to see how deep the rabbit hole goes. Oh, it's deep. You already know.